welcome back to Dash of Spices. Today we are going to do a product review. This is from Amazon. I got this furniture from Amazon and today I'm going to share with you what I like and what I don't like with this coffee bar. Um, so if you please stay tuned and keep on watching. And before we begin, please go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to our channel. If you like this video, click the like button. I'm also going to provide the link down below of all the stuff that I got from Amazon that is right here on this coffee station slash storage, kitchen storage area. So let's start with what I like about this coffee bar or also, we're going to call it like a baker's rack. What I like about this is the price. It's not expensive. Um, and also, it's actually comparable with other baker's rack you could get at the big stores. So that's one thing. Um, the second is it delivers like, because maybe because we have Prime, so it got delivered right away. The third is it's just easy to put them together. Um, I was reading the review and I thought it's going to be hard because some reviewer just, you know, says that it's going to be hard to put them together, but actually it was easy. Um, I needed a help to put this right here and the, oh, sorry. I needed the help to put the top side, but other than that and, um, was easy to put together. If you just follow the direction, I think that's the best way to do it. Don't go right away to um, the video or product review. I would read the instruction. If you just follow that through, it will be easy to put together. That was the third. And the fourth one, I like it because it's just the perfect size. It's right next to my fridge and it has lots of storage. Um, let's start from the top, which you could put um, plants or anything you could put on. Um, that's just my plants and the container is from Walmart. This is my husband. It's like a vintage, a weighing scale, and I think it's just perfect right here. Um, just a disclaimer, I'm not a decorator, so I just decorate it how I like it. You could do it what how you want to like it, how you want yours to be. And I got this Hobby Lobby. That container on the plant, lavender plant, it's a fake plant from Walmart. The next part is, so that was the top, the next part is it has hooks. These hooks are built in, so when you put them to, when you put this poles together, right here, you gotta put this first in before you secure the ends. Right there is the other end. Um, I wish I I wish I did a video of how I install it. I might be able to disassemble it and assemble it again and make a video for you guys. If you want that, I could do that. It was really, really easy. So it comes with this hooks, which you could put whatever you want. I just put whatever mug I have, a coffee cup. And then the next, this was, um, this is, this hooks are, you can hook it anywhere. I think there's 20 or to probably 12 of them it will fit a mug like this but it won't fit a mug with a thick handle like that see I just want to make sure you it's not easy to put that in there so just an FYI and so you have that rack which you could put whatever I got that from Walmart again and First, I drink the coffee, then I do things. So you could feature all the mugs that you got from your family or friends, like what we did here. I got this um, coffee mug from Walmart, which I think there's also available at Amazon. I just like it with some writings in there. I think it kind of give you a little boost in the morning before the morning rush. I like that. That's from my uh, daughter, um, Destiny. She gave me that morning beautiful and of course, the mugs. Um, I have a little coffee in there and some sugar. If nobody likes some, um, you know, 
sweetener. My sweetener is in the fridge. I was tempting to buy a little fridge that I could put down here to uh, for my coffee creamer, but I'll do that later. So right here, it's a good size. It's a good length of a board. It's not solid, but it's strong enough to hold my blender, my coffee maker, and a little cups right here. Now again, I'm trying to um, make this as a all-purpose baker's rack. It's a coffee bar and also a blender. This is plugged in so I could actually turn that on. It's already plugged in in the back. So that's one thing. Or if you don't want a blender and um, you want like a, there's a thing in Amazon, like a plug-in hot water, you could make like a, a electric pot, I guess. And it has a hot water for your chocolate um, milk. Like what my daughter has is she have chocolate stuff right there. We'll go there later on. And then you could just grab hot water right here. So that's the board. That's the board right here. Again, it's not solid, but I like the color. Let me see. I think it has that rustic farm house style. Um, and it's not thick, but it, it's perfect. It you know it could hold those two so let's go to the next one this is the next um let's just see level and i use this as a storage for my air fryer and that's jazzy's um blender i recommend buying this blender for your kid if your kids like uh, making their own smoothie because they could just push that in and it makes their own smoothie so I'll provide the link down below. I got that from Amazon. I got that from Amazon too. So this is the second board. As you can see, this is long and this is just half, almost half of the size from the top. But you could put your air fryer or any gadgets in there that you want. And I like this feature right here. You could pull this and look, you could put your coffee. This is not sponsored by Starbucks or Costco. I bought everything in this video, okay? And the next one is, you could use this as another storage. This is Jazzy's um, uh, chocolate for her chocolate milk, and there's the marshmallow. And this is just my add-ons for my coffee. And I put my little, I like this kind of color pot. Um, I got this from Amazon too. And this is the bottom um, storage. It's open. It doesn't have a drawer. If you want something with a drawer, I think there's another option in Amazon. But this right here, you could move this around. You could move it a little higher, so you could see, or like lower. It goes, depends on your preference. If you have a microwave, you could put this right here. It will fit. And then the bottom too is my Insta Pot. The only thing in the bottom, you can't adjust this. That's how it is set. But I put my Instapot Pot, and you could put more stuff in there. This is just how mine is. And again, I like it so far. And the downside. Let's start from what I don't like. So it's Amazon, so it's not like... I don't see... I can't say it's not well-made, but um, it's just an Amazon product. As you can see, there's a space right there, that spot. And there's a big, big spot right here. So if you, if I squeeze this hard, like if I uh, tighten this up more, this will bend. So that's the reason why you have that spot. So that's just, you know, an FYI, if you're buying an Amazon product. Again, it's pretty, I like it, it's just that. Second one, you really have to uh, make sure it comes with the thing to tighten up on the wall because it does shake. Look, so if you have a little one that likes to climb and stuff like this, make sure you bolt this into the wall. You bolt this in the wall because if you don't, then it's going to be a disaster. So, I mean, that's the only thing, see? Because it's not, it's, it's heavy, it's not heavy duty, but it's just good enough 
to make it like a little bar like this. But again, if somebody, if you have a kid, try to climb like every other kid, like to climb out the furniture like this, make sure you bolt this to the wall. Keep it safe. That's one thing. And then the next one is the hooks. So maybe that's the reason why they kind of make this wider. So if you have a mug like this, it will fit. But if you put this mug to this hook, let me get this one. If you put this right there, it won't, your mug is gonna be like at the very edge. You don't like that. You know, it's better to be safe. That's one thing. So, this is not really that solid, but it, again, for that price, it's pretty. And on the top, you can make you put your plants. This is not hard. I, I was actually scared to put more stuff in here, but so far, um, as long as nobody's leaning to it, I think it's going to work. This one is good at first. I was like, why is that not stopping? Because I didn't put that screw. So if you have an extra screw, make sure you put that screw right there so it will stop right there. Trust me, it happens to me. So again, if you just follow that direction, then you should be good. Those are my stuff. Again, I wish if there was a cabinet down here, I could hide some stuff in there. Like this stuff, I could hide it. Um, but other than that, this is pretty good. It's a good investment. Let me mo move a little bit back. It's nice piece, again from Amazon. And I got that <laughs> mat at Walmart, or you probably could get it Amazon as well. And I just like it. I like how this turns out. I like it that it's just next to my fridge. So if I need my coffee creamer, I could just, it's just next step over. I still put Jazzy stuff right here. As you can see, hot chocolate and coffee. She made that. So again, um, you could make it, you could decorate on your own. If you look at the site, that link that I gave you, that I will provide down the link below, you could see some people how they convert theirs how they make theirs. So if you like this, I suggest if you're looking for a baker's rack slash coffee um, bar, this would be it. This would be it. I would suggest that. I also, I'm going to also provide the uh, measurement as well. So it's always good to measure, but I think it's a perfect height. It matches just the same height as my fridge so hope you like this video and if you do if you have questions comment down below um uh again this is a good bye thank you everyone for watching please subscribe to our channel and like this video share this if you have a friend or family that would like to get something like this a simple but a little bit rustic farm kind of uh, theme bar slash storage or slash, slash baker's rack. This will be a good one. So thank you everyone for watching. Until next time. Ciao.